Okay, made me turn my phone, so I hope I'm not sideways. Hey, Crystal, how are you, friend? So, hi, welcome to Monday's Motivations with me, Coach Mona. Um, I am happy to be able to say that I have been blessed with another year of life as of yesterday. Um, I made 51, so happy birthday to me. Um, so yeah, so just thanking God for that. And I received this beautiful card. This card is from actually my dad and his wife. So I'm like, I am going to share this card. In the front of the cards, it's an acronym for purpose. It's an acronym for purpose. And so tonight we're just going to start with the P. Um, the P in purpose. And it says part of God's plan. Part of God's plan. And scripture that comes to mind is Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. One of my uh, founding uh, favorite scriptures. And it reads that, For I know the plans and the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of good and not of evil, to give you an expected end. So we have to know, you and I, we have to know that we are a part of God's plan. And you can't focus on where you've been, where you've come from. Maybe you haven't had the perfect life. But know that even in that, you were still part of God's plan. Because I thought about my beginning the other day as this, it was, you know, coming down to my birthday um, this week and just thinking about how God has brought me and kept me and allowed me to be in a space where I am now, where I have grown, where I have developed, where I have matured, where I have got out of self, where I have overcome many things in my past that could hold me back, right? And you have to get to that, that place and space in God to really realize and know without a shadow of a doubt that you are in God's plan. So I know everything I've went through was all part of God's plan. And as we say, I don't look like what I've been through. I haven't been through some of the worst things, but I have been through some bad things from birth up into this point, but through it all, God has kept me. God has used me. And we have heard the saying, what will you do with your dash? That's the most important part. Not how you start, not how you end this life, but what do you do with that in-between dash, in-between life and death? What did you do with your dash? And so I am glad to know that I have done something purposeful with my dash. If I had to leave here today, I know that I have did something meaningful in someone else's life. I have I've made someone else smile. I've, you know, did something for the betterment, not just for me, not just for my family but for someone else. And we have to get to that place where we don't live just for self, self-gratification. You have to get to that place in God where you live outside of yourself. When you care about others, not just you and yours. When you truly have a love for other people, when you're truly happy when other people are winning, when you truly care when someone else is hurting. Like when you feel what someone else feels and have a deep concern and care, and even if you can't do something tangibly, just pray. Just pray. Know that when you pray the prayer of faith, the prayers of faith, when you intercede on behalf of someone else, you're representing God. You're being God in that person's life at that moment because you're interceding to God on their behalf. And do you know sometimes we go through different situations where we 
don't have the mind or the strength to really pray a fervent prayer because it's just so overwhelming. Or there are times in our life where our mindset is just not even thinking about God. Have you been there? I have been there. When, my, when I wasn't thinking about God. But I know that those times God had someone who saw me in my mess, who saw me in need of something that was missing. And they prayed for me. So I know I am here because of the prayers of not only my, my family, but also someone, some stranger, saw me out there living in a way that was not conducive for me or mine, my children. And I'm sure they prayed. Amen. And so we, we, we thank God for being a part of his plan through it all, in the midst of it all. Through the ups, through the downs, through the heartaches, through the, through the grief. Through it all, know that P, your purpose, you're part of God's plan. You have purpose. You have meaning. You exist for a reason. You are not an accident. It's not about how you were conceived. If you were conceived out of wedlock, God knew it. Nothing takes God by surprise. Nothing takes God by surprise. And so as we realize that nothing takes God by surprise, he knows all. He knows what we think before we think it. He knows what we're going to say before we say it. He knows what we're going to do before we do it. He knows the heart, our intent, our motives. So with that being said, he's our creator. We can take everything to him in prayer. Prayer is just talking to God. Just talk to him. Pour out to him. If you're angry, you can vent to him. Like, God can handle it. He can handle our frustrations. And guess what? Whatever you tell God, he's not going to tell anyone. He will keep it confidential. So know that you are part of God's plan. You have purpose he has a good and expected end for your life. Just be mindful of what you're doing with that dash. What are you doing with that dash? Because at the end of this life, that is all that would have mattered. What you did with that dash. And I just want to encourage you. Use your dash wisely. If God has blessed you to be here and you're still here... He's giving you another day, another moment, another breath, another chance to get it right. As long as you are living, you have another chance to get it right or to continuing to do what's right. Continue to, get, to keep striving and growing and developing. This is a constant. We will always be changing, evolving and growing and changing and getting over hurts and getting over uh, pains and and. and uh, celebrating accomplishments and becoming more confident. It's just the process of life. As they say, say in uh, The Lion King, it's the circle of life that we all go through as we live out this journey, as we walk out this journey. The word also says in Psalms 119, verse 105, Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Turn on that lamp so that you can follow that light. That light is going to lead you to God's plan that he has for your life because you are part of his plan. So he's just waiting on some of us to get on his plan, his package plan, his path to the path he has for you. The path he has for you. And it wasn't until I got on God's path that I've reached, started going in the, in the direction of the plan that he had for my life. It wasn't until I got on his path that I started fulfilling my purpose in life, that I really knew what I was called to do, why I exist, how am I to treat other people, how am I to treat myself, how am I to treat my family, how am I to be a better me. So know that your life has purpose. And that first P in purpose is that you are part 
of God's plan. And that is our Monday's motivations. For this Monday, we will share the next letter, the letter U, on next week. And we will talk to you soon. Please make sure that you share, comment, like, all of that on this broadcast, on the podcast, wherever you are hearing this live. And we will talk to you on next week. Toodles. Hey, Deidre, how are you? Thank you, sis. Thank you, Christopher, for listening. And we will be back on next week. Toodles.